Well, honestly, that didn't actually take too long. Let's ring the bell. Keep the heads ringing. Bell in your hand shattered. Sedane. Promethea's royal palace is beyond these steps. It must be in ruins, just like everything else. Can't bear to see it like that. I understand, but we can't go back now. We have to find out who's behind this. I'm gonna find out who those guys were. And why I look like them. Look, Vivi's scared too. But we have to face reality. Poor Vivi. I have to find out who I am. I'm scared. What if I'm not even human? What are you talking about? I not human, but you definitely human. Hey, people survived! Are you in league with the Black Mages? No? You're lying! There's a Black Mage right behind you! Freya? It's good to see you, Dan. Damn, I haven't seen you in years. Where have you been? Actually, this isn't the best time to talk. We've got to get out of here fast. There are black mages swarming all over this place. What are you waiting for? Yep. I'm the king. I don't know. I didn't see him in the palace. Well, I'm going. I've got my own family to worry about. Freya, forget about the king and get out of here. We're no match for those mages. Well, remember what you said, Freya. The truth may change your life for the worse. Well, let's get going. We've got a little bit more Bermesia to explore. A few more dead people to talk to. Well, we have to go now. Can't move anymore. Go on without me. Too dangerous to stay here. You have to escape to Lindblom. I'm sure Regent Sid will protect you. My husband. He was hurt by those black mages. He can't move. How can we possibly escape to Lindblom? Oh, let's save some lives. Hmm, that was close. Jeez. Thanks. Well, we have some survivors, at least. It's nice. Thanks again, pal. Maybe I'll see you in... Maybe I'll see you again in Limblum. And then my kids will, kids will be born. I cannot read today. Why am I... Why am I even trying? I should not be trying. Reading is difficult. Now, if we go back in there... Ha! <laughs> surprise! There's actually, like, literally nothing in here. I lied. I tricked you all. You thought there would be treasure. You thought there would be cool, like, loot. There was not. There was no loot. No loot at all. You've been, like, bamboozled. So, Phoenix down. Is this another mimic? No, that's, a, that's an actual honest-to-god tent. Didn't even need to go to a camping supply store. There's the mimic. There you are. Guess that's another chance to go uh, find out what Magic Vice's ability is. Provided we don't immediately murder it. I 
I, I do like that sassy introduction pose from the magic device, though. Just walks in and just like, yeah, you see this uh, magical staff I have? I'm gonna beat the shit out of you with it. 225, please tell me that's within range of eating. I think it is. Nom nom nom, magic hammer. I still have no idea what magic hammer does, but you can go to the menu and find out. Level up. All right, ability, Queena. Magic Hammer. Magic Hammer reduces the enemy's MP. Ooh, okay, so that's an MP drain. Got it. Eh, I can see where that could be useful. No, don't go back, Zidane. Don't go back. There's nothing for you back there. Over here, however... Is there anything here we can use? Oh, there's a stabber. Spear. It's pretty light and easy to use. Received a mithril spear. Poor kid. Seriously, though, this entire thing so far has just been a trauma conga line for Vivi. And there's just a Moogle here. Well, first, let's open that up for the Lightning Staff and well, look who we have here. Hey, buddy, do you want to buy something? Hey, 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 Stiltskin. Here's what I got Soft High Potion and Ether for 333 gil. I will definitely buy that. Thanks. This will keep me going for another week or so. Can't stand all this rain. Alright. Atla, hey! I needed to give a letter to you. Alright. Okay, the Snowskin is headed in your direction, Kupo. I've never met him. Tell me what he's like if you meet him, Kupo. Check and see if he travels with a map of the entire world and with rare items like the rumor says, Kupo. Give you this in exchange for delivery. Ah, oh, we got another Kupo nut. And there's a letter to Monev to give. Now this Kupo, or this Kupo, this Moogle is also unique because they're also a shop. So let's buy some things at the Mog Shop. We can buy a needle fork. Let's buy some more equipment as well. Needle fork is good for Queena. Let's see, steepled hat. Buy another one of those. And what gloves we have? Headgear. Wearing it will make you popular. Uh, I'm gonna buy it just for completion's sake. Magus hat. I'm gonna buy one of those. Bar boot. Bronze vest. Lemon thingamajig. Alright. So let's save up. Oh, lullaby of five first. Let's save, Koopo. Alright, so let's get ourselves all revved up and ready to go. So now you can get the needle fork and it will not impede your progress with high tide at all. Uh... Silk shirt. I'm gonna give you the bronze vest so you can get jelly. Steeple hat and magus hat. Well, actually, the magus hat will be good for you. And just to give you a little bit more defense, or magic defense rather, I'm gonna give you the other magus hat. Alright, Barboot, we'll give you Dragon Killer. 
Javelin works toward Dragon Killer, but Mithril Spear will give us Race's Wind. And, uh, Race's Wind? Very good. Very good. I, I enjoy that ability a lot. How about we give you... Somniac to prevent sleep. Jelly to prevent petrify. And antibody to prevent poison. Freya, how about we increase your HP by a bit? Don't think I really need Maneater right now. But Cover might be good. So there we go. We've got a defensive, like a bulky Freya. Not like a buff Riku, but uh, I guess it operates in a similar fashion sometimes. Alright. Let's get going. So again, we're all revved up and ready to go. This is terrible. Freya, I'm sorry, but from the looks of this, I don't think the king made it. I don't think Dagger came here. I wonder where she went. I don't know what to tell you. We can only hope that the king and the others escaped. Vivian, let's go see what's over there. <clears throat> I love that Freya just like casually leaps 70 feet into the air. It sounds so easy. So I'll start here. Now Zidane is still, you know, pretty agile. Vivi, on the other hand, is not. I meet you after I eat food inside palace. But there is no food. Unless we're gonna get a knuckle sandwich. Who was that? I knew she was behind all this. What do you mean you knew? I decided to return to Bermesia because I heard rumors that Braun had set her sights on our kingdom. And that girl standing next to her must be Beatrix, Alexandria's general. That's Beatrix? The cold-blooded knight who knows no mercy. There are many fierce warriors out in the world, some more powerful than even I. Beatrix of Alexandria in particular. They say her swordsmanship is the best in the land. Sir Fradley, do you still insist on going on your journey? Yes. Please understand, Freya. Right now, Bermesia is at peace, while other nations are slowly but surely gaining power. I don't know if my spear alone is enough to protect Bermesia. Which is precisely why I must go out into the world. Sir Frat, I don't think I can live on my own. Not without you. Freya, you're going to be fine. Trust your strength. And have faith in your destiny. Once I complete my journey around the world, I will return to Bermesia. They promise me one more time that you will return. My promise. You never came back. You left with me with nothing except rumors of your death. I couldn't believe it. I still won't believe it. Never. Not until I witness proof of your death with my own eyes. And I will travel across the world forever if I must. Are you alright? Yes. I was just thinking. About the past. You still can't get over him, huh? Who's that? I found this rain quite pleasant. It feels as though the raindrops are blessing our victory. 
This is a great victory for us. Kuja, your black mages made this conquest so simple. My only concern now is finding the king of Burmese. We must take care of him once and for all, and prevent these rats from ever rising up again. Beatrix, what's taking so long? I don't know, your majesty. I've ordered Zorn and Thorn to search the perimeter, but there's been no word so far. I will join them and lead the search right away. You're wasting your time. What? Rats often look for new homes when they sense an earthquake. They probably moved to the sandy treehouse by now. So, you see, it's too late. The king has already turned tail and fled. Sandy treehouse. Surely you don't mean clay rock. It'll be quite difficult if they escape there. Unless we can get through that sandstorm, it'll be impossible to attack. Sneaky little rats. Kuja, what do you think? Surely with your powers, there must be something you can do. Of course, your majesty. I will present you a marvelous display of my power. I am certain that you will be most pleased. I was wondering if you would gather your troops near Clayborn. I'm certain those filthy rats will retaliate in full force, and my black mages may not be strong enough. Sounds like we got trouble. That sinister man. Who is he? Beats me. I've never seen him before. Well, sounds like they're going to Clayra. I've always wondered why people call it the City of Illusion. I don't know either. Clay was remained in isolation for a hundred years. If my people escaped it there, they'll be safe, and at least for a while. What's this place like? The people of Clayra are originally from Burmese. Long ago, they severed ties with Burmese over a trivial conflict. Now the kingdom is at peace, shielded by a large sandstorm. Oh no. Oh, he's gonna get his stupid ass killed. Remesio will never fall. Prepare to die! You wish to fight me, Beatrix of Alexandria? Beatrix? I commend your courage, but I will show you no mercy. Hello! We're making a dramatic entrance. You'll have to deal with us first. We'll take care of this. Go find the king. Protect him with your life. Thank you, Freya. I've never been so humiliated in my life. I once killed a hundred knights single-handedly. To me, you are nothing more than incense. All right. We've got our next boss. Welcome, everybody, to the most powerful sword fighter, Beatrix. And make no mistake, Beatrix is gonna kick our butts. There will be a lot of butt kicking. Can I slow you? Can I slow you down? With the power of slow. Hey, that's actually... You know what? I'm gonna cast Vanish on Zidane. It'll protect him from harm and let him steal items in peace. So Beatrix here is a very difficult boss. How difficult? She can hit with Thunder Slash. And, uh... I'll, I'll get into more details about hitting with Thunder Slash later, I guess. Uh, you know what? Let's actually try out Race's Wind now as well. Race's Wind is very good. It casts regen on the entire party. It's very nice. It doesn't last forever. Uh, nothing lasts forever, not even cold November rain. But it's still a really nice skill. It's definitely one you want to get. Uh, Frog Drop isn't going to be very good. I think it's just going to be best for Queena to attack using, uh, just stabbing with a fork. Aw oh, man, did you see that though? That was a 360. It's called the Xbox 360 because you do 360 damage and then walk away. Alright. Do you have anything else to steal? Thunder Slash! Thundercats! 
stab you. Stole Mithril Sword, nice. That'll be good for Steiner, wherever he is. Sixty-eight damage so far, Vivi. You're not doing that much. Shock. Oh no. Oh no. We've gotten to this portion of the battle. I think we've stolen everything we can from her, though. So now let's just lay on the damage. Try to lay it on as much as possible. Thunder again. I never noticed it, but Zidane actually looks like... He looks... His facial expression looked less like he was just murdered, and more like he's taking a really nice nap. Like he's having a really nice dream in a nap. He was smiling. Oh god, who's it gonna kill now? Round and round the roulette goes. Who it kills, nobody knows. Another spear. Now, Beatrix, we have laid, like, a ton of damage into you right now. I have stabbed you with this spear a bunch of times. I have lit you on fire. I even stabbed you with a fork. And you have just refused to die. Why is that? Why is that? I'm dealing, like, triple-digit damage consistently, and you just refuse to, to lose. Oh, that's actually really cool, though. I forgot you absorb lightning, Vivi. Well, that means Vivi can't die, at least. Not until shock happens, because I think shock is non-elemental. Probably gonna find out in a couple seconds. Here it comes! There you go! Alright. You're no match for me. There we go. That's why I wasn't healing, ladies and gentlemen. Because that's not a fight you can win. And this, dear friends, is the end of disc one. How ridiculously weak. Isn't there anyone who is worthy of facing? Come, Beatrix, we must prepare to attack Clay. Yes, Your Majesty. Now, what do we have here? Another filthy rat, and... Hmm. This boy could become a... 